All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to some more Buildcraft 6 here with me, Chillum. Once again, fantastic. The, uh, our wheat field is doing very, very well. Very happy with all of this stuff. The bots are behaving fantastically well. Now we've got a few little kinks and issues worked out. And on top of that, we have our delivery bots collecting from here as well. All, well, you can see here, we have a gate reserved. Someone is on his way to collect some wheat, which is fantastic. Now, in the meantime, there he is. All right, dude. Actually, we'll follow him. I'll show you what we've been up to. In between episodes, once again, I finally sorted out the uh, the storage room at the other end where this guy's going to end up. And ooh, oh, look at that! What are you collecting? You are also collecting meat from there, really? I didn't know you could do that. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, we've got some. Oh yes, aha! I've created a list. I forgot all about that. I think that's in here. So lists we haven't done yet. Um, as he during a stream was just like, dude, you haven't used lists. Use lists. So this is a piece of cactus, I think, wrapped in paper gives you a list and if you right click on it um, it gives you um, a whole bunch of available options like tons and tons and there's some crazy stuff with any eye oh, look at that do, 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 do. craziness um, so what this is basically saying is export farm goods and all we've done is we're listing wheat egg and potatoes and you can add other stuff in here now I think I've got this crazy equivalence accept variations and accept equivalence so if I put a piece of metal in and I go accept equivalence of metal does that do anything nope what about except variations of iron? No, there's no variety. It doesn't do like different ingots or anything like that. I wonder what does work. <laughs> I haven't played with it too much, so I don't know. Um, but that's kind of cool anyhow. So this list is being used to specify eggs, wheat, and potatoes. And so we use that in um, our gate, which is essentially saying if we have any of those three items, we are providing those three items out of there, which is why we've got collector bots occasionally coming along uh, and picking up stuff from there as well as from here. I don't know why my, uh... oh I do actually, <laughs> he's having trouble getting into delivering the gate, actually you know what we'll do, we'll add another, add another gate there, just because they seem to be hogging it a little bit too much, so hopefully, hopefully the, uh, <laughs> the picker bot here will get a moment to use the other gate and drop off the stuff that he's got, um, although saying that this guy's also hogging the base here, so that's not helping either, oh man. What a palaver. He has a little time. As ill of a time as our little picker bot. Can I put another gate on there for him to access? Unlikely. Well, we'll see what they do. They will sort himself out eventually. They will work on it, I'm sure. But that's cool. So, the delivery bots, <laughs> who's just gone running off by this time. Let's take the loop around here. They'll fly all the way along here. You can see them all busily working away. Absolutely love it. That battery thing is fantastic. I've watched that go round and round a good few times now, and it is awesome. How are you doing? I've got one bot. Hmm, fair enough. Um, so yes, anyhow, where we had one or two chests before, I have built a couple of structures. A storage room, and what today we're going to use for the beginning of our bakery. Oh yeah, not bad. It's going to be very, very simple crafting robot usage, which we're going to make hella complicated in one of the next coming up, up and coming episodes. So this is our new storage room, and uh, it is freaking awesome. We've got little robot access holes all around the top that they can get to, and what we have here is a compact design for a delivery system anyhow with overflow built in now well, I'll show you it first because it looks freaking sweet it's really tidy so we've got different colored clay pipes here and here connecting to a void pipe and what this essentially means is like this one here is configured to always request wool so just keep requesting wool and because of the clay pipe the clay pipe will fill this whole chest up and when we get more wool than we can store it will automatically push it down into the void pipe and we're done so it's an overflow system for a whole chest of stuff pretty darn sweet um, the only, the only drawback to this uh, particular design, excuse me, I've got some burps going on again, would you believe? Hang on. Delicious. Um, is that each one of these gates, the only problem is each chest only has one input. So only one delivery bot can deliver anything at a time. And at the moment that's a little bit weak because they only deliver a single item. But I have been told, and I'm not sure if it's in Buildcraft 7 or if it's coming out in like 645 or some future version of Buildcraft 6, that delivery bots will start carrying a stack and the carrier bots will start carrying four stacks much like a picker bot which is pretty darn sweet so this is all being configured for all the stuff that our farm can produce um, primarily the important ones being wheat here for today and down here we've got a ton of eggs in preparation for future things um, what we've got this is this is just fantastic what I absolutely love about this system is on the inside here we have um, basically a provider gate just saying you know provide wheat from this chest and why why these guys are not getting all interfering and confused about delivering stuff back and forth 
is because the zone dedicated to the delivery bots that come from over there is only on this side of the boxes. So it only knows about these gates. It doesn't actually know this one exists. So nothing ever touches this, which is great. What we're gonna need for today's activities is a zone that actually encompasses just the inside area and nothing else. So we can have crafter bots come in here and collect the items they need, which is gonna be really, really freaking sweet. And uh, what we're gonna do for that to start with is, um, doo -doo -doo, I think we've got, oh, we've got most of our bits and bobs. That's not too bad. There's also another part to all of this, which I need to deal with, which is over there. And we'll see how time goes to um, work out whether or not we shall do that. So what we're gonna do, I think just for now, mm, yeah, this should work, this sh should work fine. Now we don't need uh, a pipe there, but we can put a pipe on the input like so. And I think, mm -hmm, oh, I could have sworn I had some cobblestone structure pipes, but apparently not. Ah, well, doesn't matter. We can use a golden pipe, <laughs> like we do for everything. So we're just gonna put that next to it. And I believe if we place you and my ever diminishing quartz gates, oh man, it's all good. Plonk you on there. Now I think by placing a gate next to a crafting station, we can say stuff like, mm, 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 there we go, allow craft. And if we just say allow craft bread, hopefully that's the only thing it's gonna be able to do. Hmm, I haven't tried the filter before, that's kind of cool. And then on here, we're just gonna say, you know, the usual thing, if we have space, <laughs> usual thing, space in the inventory for bread. I like specifying the items for some reason, then request bread. Hopefully, that should be it. So, mm, 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 the last thing we need is a place to put our baker bot, as it were. And what I'll do is I'll probably replace these ultimately, but we do just need to plonk him down somewhere. Um, oh, does he actually have power? He does. I was testing with him um, earlier on, so yeah, that's all good. Let's have him live um, just here for now. It really doesn't matter for the minute. And do we have, <laughs> we don't even have a freaking lever. All my usual goodness out the window. So, uh, hop, let's put you on there and slap you on there. Now, normally I do this to a redstone signal. So we'll do that again. We'll just say, you know, you're gonna get a redstone signal, but boom, we're gonna say you will, as per always, go to station. Otherwise you're gonna work in an area and we shall go define that area now. Oh man. This is exciting. I'm pretty sure this is gonna work. So what we need to do is set up a map area which works inside the bakery and another zone that's just on the inside of the delivery area only. So it can only get to the weeds and this is gonna be tricksy. Oops, I don't want that. This is gonna be super tricksy because I can't see the actual inside anymore because I put a roof on it. Uh -huh. Well now, let's see if I can't find a nice color of green. Green will do. So we're just gonna say the inside of, oh man, I just can't get close enough. The inside of the hut, like so, I just wanna get it reasonably close. We've got that sort of a cross area there, and we want, this is, well no, dang it, this is gonna be pure guesswork. Don't right click by accident when you're doing this. I think it's gonna to have to be a boot there. Let's, oh, damn it. <laughs> damn, little just left click. I really wish we had a slightly closer zoom. I've asked Azzy for that at some point. I'm really hoping that he adds it either to a new version of this, 6.5, or at least in seven. Right, I think that'll be all right. Let's trim just one pixel off of that. <laughs> that might be too much. <laughs> damn it. This is so fiddly. I just want finite zone control. Hopefully, hopefully that'll do. Let's use that. All he needs to do is find the provider pipe for the wheat. So hopefully that'll be fine. And he should know about the recharge over here. He may even go over here for recharge. I don't know yet. We shall find out. Now, hopefully, oops, excuse me, a bit sniffy. I've been ill, <sighs> quite ill. Um, <laughs> um, I am doing this under illness, as it were. Um, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna say work in that map location and hopefully, 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 when I place him down, he might do something. Oh, no, he won't because I haven't given him a redstone signal. <laughs> He's sitting there patiently waiting to do something, which is fantastic. Let's get ourselves a lever. Just real quick, there we go, whoops. Far too many button presses. And we'll just slap you there. Now, he should. In theory, he's definitely got it. Oh yeah, this is still gonna work. Yay, there we go, he's gonna go in here. He's gonna go grab himself some wheat. Mm -mm -mm. 
which is awesome. Do, do, do. Should take a couple of like two, another one. Oh, more wheat's coming in. That's brilliant. And he's going to potter off back. <laughs> ah, you can see where this is going. Fantastic crafting robot slams in here. Bada boom sits on his little crafting table thing, utilizes it and brings bread and drops it off. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. We have a baker bot. Fantastic. So I think I'm just going to let him slowly make. Uh, I don't want to use all of the stuff. Hmm. I wonder if there's a way I can limit him from taking absolutely everything. If there's items. Do, 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 do. I kind of want the other version of this. I want it to be if there's over 25%. Well, we'll say we'll do that for now. Should be fine. Less than 25%. Yes, there's less than 25% in there. Mm, I don't think that's a good clause. <laughs> I don't think that's a good clause at all. If there's space at the inventory, if there's, if there's items. Yeah, I kind of want to say something else, but we can't do it here. So we're just going to say if there's items in the inventory. If we have wheat, then take wheat. I don't know why you stuck. Is it because I'm messing around with stuff? Quite possibly. I might have confused the poor little guy. Never mind. He'll be fine. That's awesome. So we have a baker bot, which is great. Now, <laughs> during my illness, <sighs> let's just reset him. We'll give him a little flick. I'm back again. I don't know if he's going to come all the way back. I suspect he might. Yeah, he will. He'll drop in. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> well, anyhow, during my illness, I sat here horrifically like that bits and bobs, and I made... <laughs> An interesting milking machine, <laughs> shall we say. Now, it does work. It does work. And I've got a few buckets on me. Have I? Yeah, I've still got my test buckets and a few other bits and bobs. And uh, let, me, let me go around the other side and quickly explain what's going on. We might be able to do it from above now. I think, I think over here is safer for the minute. I fenced off this area because it was getting quite dangerous. I was spending quite a bit of time around here. Uh, there's a whole load of interesting stuff going on, uh, mainly because I ran out of um, uh, autarkic pulsars. Um, so what we have is a whole combination of things. Essentially, the idea is, is if we place an empty milk bucket in one of those three chests over there, it gets transferred into one of these three. And if one of these three has an empty milk bucket, it goes off, milks the cow, brings it back in. If there is a full milk bucket in here, it goes up into this area and sits here being provided. Pretty sweet. Let's see if it works. So we should do a chuck one in here. It gets pulled out because it goes, oh, I've got, this one says, I've got an empty milk bucket. Let's pulse the item. It'll go in here. And it should get pulled out of the bottom because this is saying, this is, well, this is an interesting combination. What happens is this is the pulsar gate and this is the detector. So what I'm saying is, oh, does that actually work? That worked on a bottom, weird. This is basically going, if we have an empty item in our, empty bucket in our inventory, set a redstone signal. And this one goes, oh, I've got a redstone signal, pulse it. And the same over here, this one's actually using a red, uh, red alloy, red alloy, good gods, a red pipe wire. Uh, instead, but you can see it's uh, delivered the milk, and it's the same thing. This one just goes if I receive a red pipe signal, then pulse it, otherwise, don't bother. And this one just goes if I've detected a full bo uh, <laughs> bucket of milk, then send a red pipe signal, and it will generate full buckets of milk for us, which is fantastic. The bit that I wanted to do and add to the other side of this, or upstairs as it were, I think we're gonna have to climb up to the top for this bit. Huh, you seem to be a bit stuck. Is that because all of the I think all of the guys are. Stealing all of his time. He hasn't got any any time on the gates to go deliver us stuff. Maybe. I don't know. I wonder what he's up to. Mm, don't know. Anywho, uh, up here, <laughs> what we're going to do. What we are going to do is we're going to have a gate here. That's basically going to say if our inventory... Hmm. I was going to say if we have items... Yeah, we're going to say if the inventory is empty. So if the inventory is empty, then we want to send a red pipe signal. Bada boom. Let's for the minute say we have some in there and that's basically going to be activating this gate now which is essentially saying if we have milk provide milk fantastic so that's all turned on yep lovely um and what we want to do with these three gates is we want to put little requesters on them and we're essentially going to say if eh, and there and there we should only have to set this once hopefully whoops oh well that's all good um if let me have a think do, do, do. yeah that's right um if we receive a redstone, a red pipe signal, then we want to be requesting. Do, 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 do. Where's my requester? Provide robot food and drop items in pipe except flu's working area. Did I not put a thing up there? I did. Why can I not request? Filter, filter, wake up, go to station, redstone signal, output only, open, input, closed. Do, 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 drop items except working. That's kind of weird. 
Oh, oh no, yeah, this is a current bug actually. Haha, <laughs> we can't actually do it from there. That's awkward. Yeah, there's a bug at the moment. You can't run a request if it's not next to the inventory. I found it out while we we're putting the um, room together over there. Well, that's a shame. We're going to leave that milking system for now then, I think. Because what it would mean... Uh, actually, no, you know, all we need, all we really need, what we really need, is just some red pipe wire. This will do it, I think. We'll be able to tweak the system just a little bit. Uh, let me clear some rubbish out of my hands. If we actually pull you down... Um, uh, we're going to have to take the gate off there as well. Um, oh, that's a pain. I'm going to have to go up there and grab them. Never mind. Let's get you as well. No, no, no. Put you back. Put you back. Grab the gate. Thank you. Grab the gate. Lovely. And we'll head up the top. Oh, what a palava. But essentially what we'll do is we'll drop the condition down and just run the pipe wire a little bit lower down. That'll be fine. So we'll grab you. You... And you, it won't be quite as nice looking, but it'll be good enough. So we'll pull one down, one down, and one down. Do, 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 do. Some of that, not one of them, some of them, yes. Lovely. Now the gates. Um, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll put that there, like so, and we'll just place the condition gates underneath. That actually doesn't look too bad. And then we can say... Uh, if we receive red pipe signal, we should be able to request items. There we go. And we want to request a bucket. And then we can just take the gate copier, whack that into the system, and then shift right click to copy it, and copy it. And now, doo -doo -doo -doo, if we actually go and, what? There's a red pipe signal and milk. That shouldn't be there. That's, that's peculiar. What a weird, hmm, there must be something else in my gate from before. I should have cleaned it. Dang it. Let's have a look. If I clear that gate information, let's just take the contents of this one again. Yeah, okay. Clear the gate information, copy it, and then paste it. That's weird. It's still got it in there. If I take that off, put it on, and paste it. Huh. All right. So I must have picked up something else in my um, gate copier at some point. How weird. Check that. Bada boom. So if you're receiving that, then we're requesting items. Awesome. Very, very cool. That works for me. Um, yeah, it's a little bit messy, but it's it's functional. It will do the job. Uh, we need a place to provide <laughs> buckets from now. That's another matter. Um, I think we're going to put that somewhere. We might as well place that in here for the time being. Are you just providing stuff? Yep, you're providing swords. And we'll do the same for buckets in here for the time being. We'll be able to, hopefully... They will, um, we'll be able to recycle it. So provide buckets. Go bada boom, bada boom. That's all good. Chuck a few in there. That should be active. Now, there's a chance that in a minute, once we go take this milk um, out of here, the system may fully activate. So if I grab that, this all turns on. They all start requesting milk, possibly one of our robots will pick up the call. I don't know. I don't know where you're going. Who are you? Oh, yeah, you're bringing sugarcane, actually. is getting transferred over as well, which is really handy. So maybe they're all busy at the moment. <laughs> Who knows? These are all activated anyhow. They should all be requesting buckets, empty buckets, which is good. Um, ooh, actually, huh, this isn't going to work because we need to add the working area to these guys' map. Oh, my God. And I think they were, like, blue... Yep. <laughs> so, if we add the milking area. Now, where's that? Is that this? That's just this section here. So, we'll grab that and say that's part of your working area too. Wow. Excuse me a second. I'm going to cough while this is doing it. Interesting. Right. Uh, map location. Good. This should hopefully now include the milking spot. <laughs> Man, the amount of work these guys are now starting to do, it's getting a little bit silly. Let's pull you back in. I always reset just for my own peace of mind. There's not actually a need to do that, I don't think. Um, and reset. There we go. Now, let's see if one of them goes for the bucket. Oh, one of them has gone for a bucket already. Oh, yeah, we're straight in there. He's provided the bucket. Oops. 
it's going to go into the system. It's getting... Oh, no, we've already had more than one bucket go through. That's amazing. Cool. Was that it? That was pretty quick if that was the same one. Yeah. Damn, that went through really fast. Good stuff. So we have... He's doing another request. Possibly fulfilling a previous request. Is that going to accept the bucket? No, it didn't accept it. What are you going to do with the bucket now, sir? Um, he's out. He's had a tantrum. He's run off. Do we not? We have power. Where's he trying to take the? I'm curious. I'm very curious as where he's trying to take the bucket now. <laughs> he's got no reason. Maybe there's a request all empty pox over here. Man, I love these little guys. They're so much fun. <laughs> I want to know where you're putting this. I suspect it's going to go into the wood box. That's the only thing that's up here. Where did you drop it off, my friend? He's dropping it off here. Because that just has an accept all items clause on it. So here's the bucket. <laughs> that's the default drop-off point for you. Amazing. Right, we're going to need possibly a spare whoop, place to put buckets then. Um, accept items. So if we can accept buckets as well. <laughs> oh, that was fantastic. Um, I don't know if it's going to be able to do it. Hmm. I wonder if the request will, maybe a request will override and accept. Let's have a look. So, do 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 do. We're just going to say all the time, just accept items. There we go. It's going to accept buckets, but hopefully it's not part of the request chain. Yes, we shall see. So, again, we have milk waiting at the top. Let's see if I can't empty that out. Get the request chain going again. We've got two milks up there. That's awesome. <laughs> so that's great. So you can see, once we have providers in here ready for... Well, once we have something requesting milk, which we will do eventually, it will come from this spot here. Or we'll get these guys to transfer some milk over there, or one way or the other. I'm not entirely sure which way around we'll do it yet. But there's our milking machine, anyhow. Not bad. So we've got a bread maker, we've got our little um, baker bot going, and we have our milk system going, which is pretty sweet. So, yeah, we're going to get a really much more complicated recipe going. I'm going to save that till next time. And we're going to tidy up a few things around here. I think I'm a little bit concerned <laughs> as to why my little friend here... You're not doing anything. You're having trouble. I'm, I don't know why you can't deliver eggs, wool, and rotten flesh. I'm pretty sure you do have places to put all of those. Yeah, well, we shall see. Right, I shall be back in two seconds. And literally two seconds later for me, pretty much as well. <laughs> I was just checking the length of the video, to be honest. Um, that's it. That's a really cool little episode, I think. We only created... Um, well, we basically used the crafter bot, which is really, really simple. And a really awesome little use for it. Let's go see if he's made many, many more loaves of bread for us. Fingers crossed. Uh, what we're going to do is try and get the baker bot at some point to make us cakes. And we're going to have to control the system so we only try and make like one cake at a time or whatever. Other than that, it should be fine. What are you doing? You're resting on your laurels. Why are you resting? You've made one piece of bread. <laughs> that was it. That was it. You made one piece of bread. Why have you only made one piece of bread? <laughs> Did you get a lot? I think I might have broken the gate conditions for the wheat. Maybe he didn't like it. Maybe he got all confused. Provide items. If items are inventory, provide items. They should be doing this. Come on. Provide items. Let's give it another wheat section. We need to make bread, man. Come on. Make some wheat. Uh, make some wheat. Provide wheat. Hmm. We have a stubborn baker bot. Well, that'll be for next time. I shall work it out in between episodes because we definitely saw him working once. <laughs> you little bugger. You absolutely little, little rotter. Why have you stopped? Now, well, one for in between episodes. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves once again. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, join us here next time for more fun and games with Crafter Bots, for sure, and whatever else we come up with. So hopefully I will see you here then. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you later. Cheers.